Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is a completely unplanned video. Um, there's some breaking news going on here uh, in the firearms industry that I want to share with everyone. So, first of all, I think we all know that the Remington Group uh, went into bankruptcy and was up for sale. And I think there's been a lot of news swirling around this subject for a while. Some people were saying that um, JJE, which uh, is the group that owns PSA, bought the whole thing or maybe bought the ammo brand and all that kind of stuff. We really didn't put a lot of stuff out about this because... Basically what was happening, the bids were going in, but everything wasn't all settled, right? Ultimately, it all comes down to the court and who bid on what and what bid won. So, we were actually going over the internet, all right, keeping an eye on this one, and some news just came up, and I thought this would be uh, really cool to share with you guys. I'm going to keep it as brief as I possibly can here, and um, uh, Lola, if you want to take a look at this, I actually have... Um, a page here on my phone that basically gives the breakdown of who got what because the company has been broken up into several pieces different people got different things so um, I, I mean you guys are not really going to be able to read that off my phone really quick so I will just read it to you and then I'm gonna roll it in here so just bear with me come on in here Lola um, so it says here please take further notice that the debtors and I'll try to give you guys a link to this so you can go through there's a whole bunch of documents to go through here but the what's most important to all of us is what actually happens to all these brands inside of Remington right so it says please take further notice that the debtors in uh, consultation with their professionals and the bid uh, consultation parties selected the following successful bids and backup bids okay so the first thing it says here hold on let me go this way so I can get this a lot bigger okay so the first one is uh, and, and this one, you could probably, I've got it here, Lola, you can see it, and we'll just go through. So this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I'm reading, and I'll just scroll up here and read all this out to you guys, and we'll talk about these particular things right now. Okay, so the first one, Vista Outdoor Inc., as the successful bidder pursuant to the terms of the asset purchase agreement attached here to as Exhibit A with respect to the uh, Lower Oak Ammunitions business and certain IP assets, and Sig Sauer Inc. as the backup bidder thereto pursuant to the terms of asset purchase agreement attached here to Exhibit B with respect to ammunition business. So it seems like uh, Vista Outdoor and Sig Sauer got the ammunition business um, from what we can see here, right? Uh, Round Hill Group LLC as the successful bidder pursuant to the terms of asset purchase agreement attached here to as Exhibit C with respect to the non- Marlin Firearms Business and Huntsman Hold Holding LLC and Century Arms Inc. as the backup bidders thereto pursuant to the terms of asset purchase agreement hereto is Exhibit D with respect to certain firearms business IP assets and Exhibit E with respect to certain non-Marlin Firearms Business inventory. So Roundhill Group, uh, Century Arms, um, uh, got the non-Marlin firearms business and Huntsman's holding LLC and Century Arms as the backup bidders to that, right? So that's why I'm reading all this out to you guys because um, I'm guessing like the first people get first choice, if not goes to the second people. Sierra Bullets LLC as the successful bidder pursuant to terms of asset purchase agreement attached here to as Exhibit F with respect to Barnes Ammunitions Business and Barnes Acquisition LLC as the backup bidder thereto pursuant to terms of asset purchase agreement hereto um, as Exhibit G with respect to Barnes Ammunition Business. So Sierra Bullets basically they won that bid but there's a company out there called Barnes Acquisition LLC so that's probably something that got thrown together here quick of someone who wants to stay really anonymous so they're the backup bidder to that. Let's go down. Sturm Ruger and Company Inc. as the successful bidder pursuant to terms of the asset purchase agreement attached here to as Exhibit H with respect to the Marlin Firearms Business and Long Range Acquisition LLC as the backup bidder thereto pursuant to the terms of asset purchase agreement 
attach here to is Exhibit I with respect to the Marlins firearm business. So Sturm Ruger first on the um, uh, the Marlin firearms business. Okay, JJE Capital is mentioned here. JJE Capital Holdings LLC as the successful bidder with respect to the DPMS, H&R, Storm Lake, AAC, and Parker brands. There's not even a backup. So, yeah, JJE. <laughs> they have uh, DPMS, H&R, Storm Lake, AAC, and Parker brands. Think about that. That's uh, very interesting, okay? JJE is the company that owns uh, PSA. All right, Franklin Armory Holdings, Inc. That sounds familiar. Uh, that sounds like our friends over at Franklin Armory. Um, or its designated assignee as the successful bidder with respect to the Bushmaster brand and related assets. So it seems like Franklin Armory gets Bush, the uh, Bushmaster brand and the related assets to that. There is no backup to that. Uh, congratulations to those guys out there. If you watch my stuff, you realize that um, they've done a lot over the years to support us. That's awesome. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to PSA. Congratulations to everyone here that's uh, getting some of this group. Let me uh, go to the last one and then I'll just do a little quick wrap up. Sportsman's Warehouse Inc. as the successful bidder with respect to the Tapco brand. Okay, so there you go. That's what it says there. So Sportsman's Warehouse Inc. gets the Tapco brand, right? So, you know, that's magazines and a whole bunch of things that go along with that. So what I would say, I mean, like I just said, I think congratulations to all the, the different companies out there that seem to be coming out on top of these bids. I think there's some of them that there's a backup bidder. So let's say the company decides, nah, we don't really want um, we don't really want to get to purchase that, then there's backup people to it. So... I'm going to assume a lot of these companies are going to, um, you know, that they're serious about doing this and they're going to take those particular brands or assets that they got their hands on. And, you know, my, my first impression here that I give to you guys, and I think that over the upcoming week we'll probably talk a lot about this on the podcast. Maybe we'll make some more videos or try to see if we can get those guys to uh, talk on record to us. My first thing is I think this is, this is to me, it sounds really good. Why? Because if these uh, other companies here care more about the firearms industry and everything going on in, uh, in our world, right, the Second Amendment community and all that, then they probably will do better for all these brands that uh, the Remington, that Remington Group um, as a whole had over the, the past years. You know, that a big massive group like that always has, um, I think there's problems... You know the, the analogy of it's easier to turn around a small ship than a big massive ship? And I think that's probably what led them to, uh, to what happened to them here, that they were in bankruptcy and then they got broken up like this. Now obviously these other companies are getting a little bit bigger, but some of those companies in there I know specifically, like talking about JJE, which is uh, PSA, these are companies that are very strongly pro-Second Amendment, right? These are guys who believe in the Constitution, believe in guns, they're into guns, they, they, you know, they live in this community just like we do. And I would say that same thing especially goes for Franklin Armory. That's what I'm seeing there. So um, I know from these guys, I know the fights, uh, the ones we've talked about on record and the ones behind the scenes that you guys maybe are not privy to, these are like genuine, diehard American patriots who believe in the Constitution and, and very much so live for the Second Amendment and firearms and getting firearms out to people. So I think overall we could take this as really good news. Um, I don't want to like get into a whole bunch of speculation. I haven't spoken to anyone um, about this at all. I'm just making this video. I'm going to throw it up there. You guys could talk about it. Let me know what you think. You know, you can look through this yourself. You have opinions. There'll be all kinds of things coming out, but very exciting stuff. Uh, thanks for tuning in here to the channel. Leave your comments. Uh, share this video, please. Let's get it out there. Get the news going and get everyone talking about this. Really fun stuff to me. Big thanks to Lola for coming out here in the middle of a, of a Sunday, basically, where she's got lots of other plans. I appreciate that, Lola. And uh, once again, congratulations to everyone. All right, let's do this. We're out of here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'm Hank Strange. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.